All right, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to take your GoDaddy certificate to utilize that for your Netscaler gateway. I know for me personally, this has always been a pain in the butt in which it took me forever to figure out how to actually utilize my certificate from GoDaddy. And literally every single time I have to do it because it's so infrequent, I forget. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video, hopefully help the YouTube audience out there of going through this process. So as you can see right now, I'm logged into my GoDaddy account. That's gonna be the first step is you're gonna to wanna to log into your GoDaddy. You're gonna to wanna to go to my products. And then under my products, you should have that SSL certificate you recently purchased under SSL certs. So here I wanna to go to manage. And when that comes up, you will see I have the option to rekey and manage. That's gonna be the first step. We're gonna to wanna to rekey the certificate and we're gonna do that from our storefront server. So open up your hypervisor and jump over to your storefront server. From there, you're gonna to wanna to open up IIS. So I'll just type IIS there, that's gonna load up. In which we're gonna go ahead and navigate to server certificates. And if we expand this here, you'll see I have the option to create a certificate request. So we're gonna to wanna to click that. We're gonna type the, the name that users will actually be accessing the Netscaler gateway from. So the actual certificate um, common name, in my case, it's digitalpersonademo.com, www. as a prefix. Um, I'll just call this Ryan Corp, cause why not? Ryan Corp and I am in West Palm Beach, Florida. So I'll put that there, which really you can put anything there. Um, you could choose your bit length. So if I wanna do, let's say 2048, Go ahead and do that and then i'm going to choose where i want to store this so do i want to store it here do i want to store it on my desktop you can choose really anywhere and i'll call this digital persona demo csr so i know what i'm looking at so now once that's created go to wherever you store that so i have it right here double click it Open up this text file and then just copy everything you see here. And then we're gonna go back to GoDaddy and you'll see here it says paste your CSR here. We're gonna paste that here. We're gonna choose save. And this will take some time. So after this saves, because we don't need to change anything here, um, we're gonna submit all changes and then it's gonna be pending verification from GoDaddy. All right, so if all goes well, you should see the email come in that looks similar to what you're looking at right now. So I'll say, congratulations, you're renewing your SSL certificate for the domain. We're delighted to have you on board. So that is like your approval message. So once you get that, jump back over to your GoDaddy certificate, select download. And I'll just give that a second to down, download. I'll just select IAS. We're gonna download a zip file. So what I'm gonna do here, a lot of stuff there. So let's go ahead and open up a file explorer and I'm gonna put this on my domain controller. Put that here, I'll move that over. And then I'm gonna jump back over to my storefront server and we need to put that zip file over to your storefront server. So here it is here. I'll go ahead and extract this zip file on my storefront server. And you will see I have my security certificate here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump back over to IAS. I'm gonna complete the certificate request. So let's go and we're gonna go to that folder. Let's choose all and let's select that file here, um, call it digital persona demo vid. I know exactly what I'm doing. And you will see that this is located here now. So what I can do at this point in order to get this properly on my Netscalers, I, I need to export this file. So I'll call this demo vid and actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to store that on my domain controller again. 
because it's easy for me to access that. Save it as a PFX because we do want that private key that is associated with this PFX we just generated. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to jump over to my Netscaler. Have that open here. Make sure it timed out. So let's log in. And now the next step is to actually import that PFX certificate that we just exported. So if I go to traffic management, it's going to be very similar to what we went through before. So go to SSL, import PKCS number 12. I will call this digital persona demo bid. I'm going to select this certificate here. Uh, choose open. Choose that password I created. S3. Let's create a pen phrase. Strix123. And that's all good. So now let's go to certificates. Server certificate. And I'll call it again digital persona demo bid. And now when we go to appliance this time, if we see it here, probably page. All right, so we'll see digital persona video dot pfx. Excuse me. Um, but we want to choose the one that's not in a pfx format, the one that it actually imported. And then same thing for the key name. Let's select that. Um, the password's going to be that pem phrase we created. And if everything is good, not sure why it's saying I'm on a secondary node because I think I'm on my primary. Um, so, anyway, so we have now the digital persona certificate there. We can go ahead and save this. And if you already have your gateway created, you should now be able to go to your gateway, select server certificate, add a binding, and you should see that new one here. You're going to select that, you're going to bind it, and now you'll have that certificate binded to your Netscaler gateway. So not too complicated if you know how to do all these various steps. Otherwise, it's extremely confusing because GoDaddy just gives you that certificate that you just really don't know what to do, what to do with. Um, so hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to write in the comment box below. If you like this video, would really appreciate if you give me a like, um, subscribe. Um, really appreciate all the support. All right, thanks everyone.